It was his lively blue eyes that caught my attention. We said we would swim in every pool in London together. He had a career dedicated to helping others. At three in the morning, he would wake us up to see the stars. There it is. We had big plans for retirement, to travel and volunteer. Oh, that looks nice. But I started noticing small things until he went missing. That's when I knew something was wrong. The dark cloud of the diagnosis hung over us. Alzheimer's. We were given no support or guidance. He deteriorated quickly. First, it was his memory, then conversation. Dementia took everything. Our dreams for the future. And my identity, too. I was his companion, then I became his carer. I tried to cling on to the man he once was, but dementia slowly cast him adrift. Soon, the weight of it all brought me to my knees. We didn't have a choice. We took what was available. Luckily, it's a nice place with caring staff. But this isn't like other diseases. With dementia, we pay the costs. Almost £1,000 a week. We get charged extra because he has dementia. The social care system is like a river in flood. But there's no life raft to speak of, no control over our course. Money's running out fast, and I'm just doing everything I can to keep my head above water. Hope, if there's any to be found, comes from clinging on to the thought that one day, another family won't have to go through this. The social care system is unfair and unfit for people living with dementia. Alzheimer's Society are campaigning to end this injustice. You can too. Write to your MP today, asking them to take action on the need for immediate social care investment. Visit alzheimers.org.uk slash fixed budget.